First story of the day here in the Daily Mag Dump, your only home for daily gun news at the federal, state, and local level. J.D. Vance seeks to block sale of Remington to Czech conglomerate. You know, I wasn't a huge fan of J.D. Vance. Um, I thought he was just another guy who was a, you know, kind of a fake conservative because uh, of his movie and all these other stuff. If you look into his background, um, I've eaten my words with him as of right now. And and I'm always glad to say that because I don't usually say that with conservatives. Usually it's the other way around. We, we set our standards and our hopes too high. And then we actually get disappointed with what they're doing. But let's take a look at this uh, apparent move to try and save these companies, because remember there was Am Remington ammo and federal and others that were being sold. And they were like, Hey, we're going to hike the prices of this ammo. But now maybe we won't have to go through that. Let's take a look by the great AWR Hawkins at Breitbart.com. Senator JD Vance of Ohio spoke exclusively with Breitbart news on Wednesday about his push to block the sale of Remington and other iconic American brands to the Czechoslovakian group. The other brands include Federal and CCI. All brands are held under the umbrella of the Vista Outdoor Sports Products. This was the group that was formed after Remington, the old Remington, like the real Remington, went bankrupt. Uh, and then the insurance companies or whoever the adjusters came in, uh, the ar arbitrator came in, put all these other little groups on and sold these things out. Uh, let's see. Vance is concerned about the sale due to links between the Czechoslovakian group and the Kremlin. And he's asking the Committee on Foreign Investment to block the sale. He explained his concerns in a letter to Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. Breitbart News has a letter dated January 24th, 2020 in its possession. The letter says in part, quote, CSG has a long record of wrongdoing and well-documented connections to American adversaries. Vance zeroed in on the sale of Vista Outdoor Sports Products companies. Quote from the letter, the transaction poses an apparent risk to our national security. I urge you to initiate a full security review of the transaction and use every authority to mitigate the risk poses. The danger possessed by the sale are not due to the transaction size or the consolidation of market power. However, the CSG has a long and troubling record that should raise national security concerns, especially alleged ties to the inner circle of Russian President Vladimir Putin, he continues to go on. Link is in the description box down below if you want to take a look. And then he finishes it up. Until it can be proven that this transaction will not jeopardize our national security, I respectfully urge you to deny the sale of Vista Outdoor Sporting Product business to the Czechoslovakian group. Um, so as you can see, you have access to the full letter at Breitbart News, which is linked in the description box down below. Very happy to see um jd vance stepping up to block this for whatever reason i don't I, you know the czechoslovakian group and its connections to vladimir putin and the kremlin aside is that really a concern of mine no i just really don't like to see american ammo manufacturing being sold off overseas it's one of the few american cottage industries according to my good friend De uh, uh dexter taylor uh and he's correct Everything within the firearms industry should be kept here in the good old U.S. of A. And Vista Outdoor Sporting Group should not be allowed to sell it to an outsider uh, who will then charge more, which they came out and they said, hey, as soon as we take possession of these products, we're jacking the prices. Up. Also, with the consolidation outside of these United States, that leaves uh, you and I with less options for ammo. Yeah, it'll be there. But what would stop the, the U.S., and this is kind of, just think about this for a second. The U.S. allows this, uh, this sale to go to the CSG. The CSG is then discovered to have these ties with the Kremlin, and now it's up to the American government to do what? Block the sale of this ammo to you and I. But you guys should have known about that. Oh, well, we didn't know about it before. It was a private transaction. But now we figured out that they have links to the Kremlin. We are going to ban imports of this ammo. And guess what? That shortens the ammo supply for you and I. Now, I don't, it's the federal government. I don't think they have the ability to think this far ahead, but maybe they do. And it will be another way to squeeze you and I, the lawful American gun owner, out of the ability to collect and use ammo so we can keep stay proficient 
with our skills. But good on J.D. Vance for stepping up and saying, no, don't do this because the links that are there and so forth and so on. And maybe in the end, he is saving us from an importation ban that would come as a result of this discovery later on. So thank you, Senator J.D. Vance. And thank you to any senator who is apparently actually doing something in Washington, D.C. We'll be right back. 